All right, guys, so I have here the in-case compact backpack. Um, I, this is the graphite version. Um, it's just the one pocket. I recently got this for $39 on a internet website, and if you know, that's a really good deal because they are regular price, $79.95, mostly any place you go. Um, all they did was do a Google search, and it came up, I just searched uh, in case compact backpack graphite and it came up and it was Barney's or something like that. I can't remember the site. I don't think they have anymore. They were doing kind of a blowout sale and I got this for basically $42 with tax shipping and everything. Uh, it took, they shipped at FedEx, but it did take quite a while to get here. Um, it is a really nice backpack. I didn't do an unboxing video because I didn't think it was necessary. You know, there's nothing really unique about this backpack. Um, I wanted to be able to use it first and then give you guys a review on it. So again, this is the in-case compact backpack. I'll go ahead and go into a little more of the details. Um, first of all, you got this nice textured outside for it. Um, I really like this material. Uh, so far that I've used it. You've got on the back, go ahead and move it closer here. You've got some padding right on the back right here and then you've also got kind of i don't really know what this is but it's kind of like a lumbar support or something supporting right there you also have and i do like this a little bit better right here that goes across your back instead of just down on each side for a regular backpack um you've got padding also under there see that right there the straps are pretty nice. I put mine through these little holes so they don't, you know, just dangle dangle down. Let's go ahead and go. You got the in-case logo right there on top. And you also do have it on the front. You have three three pockets, of course. And I like I like them because you can hide the little tabs. If you say, like this pocket, I don't use for much. So I think I have, let's see, I have a calculator an iPod cable, and my stapler for school. That's all I use it for. It's, it's not that big, as you can see here's the length of my hand. That's the bottom of it right there, so it, it's about that big. It's about that big. It's it's still pretty good size um, for everything I use it for, because this is a pocket I don't access all the time. So I just zip it up. When I need I go to it, I just pop in the little tabs like that, and there you go. The next pocket is the top pocket. And we'll go ahead and unzip that. Again, it's a very small pocket. Um, this is mainly, this is called a iPod pocket because of the material it uses. I currently have my headphones in there. And then, as you can see, it's more of a velvety kind of soft texture. Uh, it's made so you don't scratch your iPod, basically. Um, it's a very small pocket again. And then you got the main compartment, which is quite large. I have my MacBook Pro right here. I have a binder, a folder, and a notebook, as you can see. On the back, as you can see on the back, it's pretty well padded. I like, I love this backpack. I love the blue inside. I don't know if you guys can see that enough, but it's all blue inside. Um, and it has a certain, a little squiggly design, I guess, um, that you could say. Um, if you guys remember the NK silicone, uh, original case for the iPhone, that's kind of what it looks like. Um, let's see what else. Okay, so we're going to flip it around here. And I'm going to show you the back end. So you have two pockets. And then you have a larger one down here. I don't really use this one. Um, this would be more for, like, I guess a little stash bot or something. Um, this one I use for pens and pencils. You have a little clip right here. Um, don't really use this. Don't really need it. And then here's the pocket to the top. And you have another little pocket right here. Here's what I'll do. I'll just stick that right in there just so you have a flush finish. And, you know, in this pocket, I didn't really have anything anyway. All right. That's the inside right there. And the one reason why I do like this backpack, I was using a Gen Sport. Just a, uh, I think it had two pockets. Actually, let me show it to you. Here is the backpack I was using. One, two, three pockets. 
Very minimal padding, very minimal padding. As you can see. And then I, the reason why I do love this backpack. Oh man. The padding is great. It, first of all, with that backpack that I used to use, the Jansport, I could, I could feel every pound I put in that backpack. Anything I put in that backpack, I can feel on my back, you know, just by it being heavy, anything like that. Um, the, the new in-case backpack, I absolutely love. One thing, I can't even feel my MacBook Pro in here. This thing's like six, seven pounds. I can't even... I can't even feel it or anything. Um, that's why it's a great all-around backpack. All right, guys. Thanks.